The debt crisis in Puerto Rico is in the news these days. Uh, one of Puerto Rico's uh, first and most respected political leaders from the late 1800s and early 1900s referred to Puerto Rico as a field of experiment unique on the globe. Was that true? Is that true? I think when you look at the United States and the level of awareness of Puerto Rico, its history and current context, um, you probably couldn't argue that uh, most Americans find it all that unique, but it is. Uh, if you look at the results of the experiment, um, there's a lot of contradictory kinds of results. Uh, if you look at Puerto Rico compared to Latin American countries, Caribbean countries, and elsewhere in the developing world, standard of living is quite high. When you compare it to the 50 states in the United States, uh, the standard of living is actually quite low. Part of this is, the, is embedded in the long history of Puerto Rico, which goes back to basically the roots of the Americas and the kind of uh, racial and ethnic mixing, uh, the influence of colonization, and the results that came from that, which really were globalization, the first stages of it in, in the 1500s, we're in the most current stage now. And then migration, people moving about in large numbers to Puerto Rico and elsewhere in the Americas, and from Puerto Rico to elsewhere. And that migration in Puerto Rico had been part of the history now uh, for hundreds of years, to the point where now you have more Puerto Ricans living outside of the island than you do on the island. That's a massive proportion of migration. So I think that's kind of unique. And then when you look at the uh, political situation in Puerto Rico, the fact that it's called a free associated state, it's called a commonwealth, but some would argue, at least implicitly, it's still a colony. Uh, you can't vote for the president when you're on the island. You have uh, really no substantial representation in Congress. Um, so that's a second uh, class citizenship. So I think the biggest implications for uh, the experiment in Puerto Rico really are for economic development. Uh, and also for the uh, ethical questions behind the nature of democracy and freedom and what are rights and what's most important when it comes to rights.